to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Please pray. Please pray. P pray for me is good, but pray in the name of Jesus Christ. And when you are praying, I'm not being harsh on you. I'm just shouting because of the passion burning in me. Listen, by the grace of God, don't be praying and browsing. Except if the Holy Ghost speaks to you and you are looking for scriptures quickly. Keep this thing aside. This thing is a blessing. But in the name of Jesus Christ, show your dominion over it by keeping it on one side when you are praying. You can't be doing too many things and focus lock the door sometimes sincere people can come to distract your prayer and study life how are you are you at home peace be unto this as politely tell them sorry i love you but i'm spending a few minutes if they love you and they love your destiny they should excuse you look live by values otherwise you will crash your spiritual life down you are praying with fasting Turn every plate upside down in your house. Lord, there is a spirit attacking my influence. There is a spirit attacking my fervency for you. It didn't used to be like this. What happened to my prayer fire? What happened to my word fire? I sleep by 7 p.m. I wake up by 9 a.m. in the morning. Something is wrong with my spiritual life. depression speak I reject it ah, I know I lost one billion in this investment my company is in trouble I know that this has happened I know they've diagnosed me with fibroid or cancer or whatever I know that there is a situation things don't seem to be adding up but let me die believing you you return back you study scripture and now the advantage we have there are many people who have gone through the labor of putting the required scripture you need just a little search online and you can find scriptures people have paid the price already if you have an office or a prayer room surround it with powerful scriptures remove pictures of when you were small and keep them aside and put scriptures while you are praying you turn this light firing from one direction Listen to what I'm telling you. This is the key to victory. Do you know why I'm telling you this? So that when you rise, when they ask you, yes, you will say it's God's grace, but you will tell light. You can't say, I don't know what I did. Jesus, I know. Paul, I know. You must register your presence in the realm of the spirit. I say, touch not. For me, for my children, for all that surrounds me, touch not. Do you know, prayer can become a habit. You are praying and you just stretch. For stretching for two minutes and waking up, you are not fully awake, but the realm of the spirit and demons will suffer just because you are ah, before you turn back. Is any man afflicted? Let him pray. Can I tell you this? I don't mean I don't mean to create controversy or trouble. I've come to this city in peace, but let me tell you this. I made up my mind. Everybody under my roof must serve my God. Listen carefully. You can't be under my roof at my cost and do what you want to do. No. If the owner of the house is praying, 
you should pray don't get up and say whatever no it's a it's a, it's a personal uh, um, revelation i'm not saying it must be so for you so that you don't allow people to bring all kinds of familiar spirits and loiter your house okay this is how we pray in this house you are welcome 5 a.m or 6 a.m with it's a diff if there are special cases that's all right but as much as possible the point of neglect is the access point for demons where you neglect the point of neglect many of us started raising our children well but when they became teenagers in a bid to honor them for maturity we started subtracting spiritual values you take away prayer and give your child a car you did not help the child let him pick the prayer before the car key i don't know how i got here please sit down let's let's talk about we have to finish so number one prayer please pray 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 in the spirit pray in the spirit we do not know the evil that confronts us day and night but we can pray it's our zone of safety is the formula that the father gave us pray the moment you detect things around your life that are not lining up with the purposes of god the moment you see that the agenda of god is being interrupted souls are not being saved in and through your life you are a man of god and for two weeks you made an altar call nobody came out don't laugh and say it's all right everybody is saved that's not there is no such thing as that the same way the poor you will always have with you the unsaved you will always have with you the day i spend a week in my life and my life does not save a sinner i will go on a retreat and repent before god what is the anointing for one week sunday to sunday nobody came to jesus through my life nobody got healed through my life no demon was casted out nobody understood the kingdom through my life you must take that responsibility authority comes with responsibility number two very quickly the second key that provokes divine intervention in the life of believers is praise with understanding praise as an instrument of warfare praise with understanding as a weapon three scriptures very quickly psalm 67 from verse 5 god is helping us tonight help us media let the people praise thee O god let all the people praise thee we're reading to verse 7 then let the earth yield her increase and god even our own god shall bless us uh-huh it says god shall bless us and all the earth shall fear him at the instance of praise it was a few years ago god gave me i don't like dancing you would have noticed i'm dancing and all of this there's no grace for me there bible says every man should abide in his calling but not when not when i am alone with god you don't dance because you can dance you dance because he's a weapon we praise I learned the power of praise praise works wonders Psalm 22 verse 3 Psalm 22 verse 3 but thou art holy O thou that inhabitest you make praise your habitation that everywhere there is genuine praise it attracts the attention of God how many of you know that if you want to invite the commissioners in a state you want to invite the permanent secretaries maybe the attorney generals and the rest instead of inviting all those people one by one invite the governor in his capacity as the governor as he's coming the entourage that comes with him somebody who told you yesterday he won't come on hearing that his boss is coming in the capacity the full capacity of his office that's what praise does there are many things you don't know you need breakthrough lifting favor let praise go up let praises rise from the inside from the inside 
Psalms 18 verse 3 where we read earlier said I will call upon the Lord who is worthy or deserving of praise by that formula of prayer mixed with praise so shall I be saved that every time I pray it does not just stop at prayer many times when we pray angels come but Paul and Silas taught us that if we want God directly when you are done praying begin to praise and he comes himself are we blessed have a selection of powerful worship and praise songs every television in your house should have a flash drive behind it with a special selection per season per moment when it looks like you are downcasted oh apostle i can't sing people have sung for you already get their songs and while they are singing you repeat after them the parts you don't know don't worry god understands jump to a part that you know and sing yes sir let me show you something judges judges chapter one from verse two we have to hurry up we're about to pray judges one from verse two look up please they were going to battle and the lord said judah shall go up first that judah judah means praise because i have delivered the land it is praise that will take delivery watch this verse 3 hmm. and judah said to simeon you know what simeon is simeon comes from the hebrew word hear or to hear that's faith that comes by hearing so praise told faith come and escort me i need to receive something it says come with me into my lot that we may fight against the canaanites praise calls faith let me do this with understanding and likewise i will go with you into your lot and faith went with praise as a result verse 4 and judah went up and the Lord delivered the Canaanites and the Perizzites into their hands and they slew them in Bezek, 10,000 of them. Do not downplay what praise can do. Perfected praise with understanding. Write your prayer requests, the issues of concern on the ground. Put a worship song, roll before God there get up and begin to dance and dance papa hagin met bishop oyedeko and he said we mentored you on faith and yet god has brought you great increase how did this happen and bishop oyedeko replied him and said by the grace of god sir i danced everyone into this tabernacle that you see when you pray then you praise Praise is powerful. Let it let the praise of God not go away from your mouth. Sing praises with understanding. Sing praises with understanding. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. Raise a song when you go back home. You wake up in the night and you are walking around and you are carrying the letter. They just sacked you. Present it to God. Drop it on the ground there. Dance before Him. Africans we do that a lot those in the West don't see much of that but Africans you know what happens during weddings there are this group of people who can wear their uniform and have these talking drums it happens in most cultures especially the Yoruba culture they see you and they begin to call your name and praise you you don't want to give them money they call your name and say something about you again senator remember the building you did you want to enter the car they remind you you made a statement that you love all of us and they put pressure on your integrity and before you know it you reach down unplanned listen a woman's dance removed the prophet's head as prophetic as he was herodias danced her way to a decision an option that was given to her and her evil mother told her to remove the head 
of John the Baptist. I can tell you because I've done it myself. There are miracles. You go and try what I'm telling you and see. Not showmanship. No. Lock yourself. You and your maker. Cry and roll before him. Lord, I bring before you my political career. I bring before you my spiritual life. I bring before you this need. And begin to pray and roll. Write the name of your business. Write the issues of concern. Write the issues that is plaguing your spiritual life. What kind of believer am I, oh God? You said we we'll dream dreams. I don't have any dreams. And if I have a dream, it's a demonic dream. Write it down. Pray. And see what will happen that night. Praise. Number three. The third key that provokes divine intervention is sacrifice. Sacrifice. Very powerful sacrifice seed faith is very powerful seed faith is not just about money pay attention psalm 50 and verse 5 gather unto me my saints they that have made a covenant with me 50 and verse 5 psalm they that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice let me tell you this ask any great man whether in the secular or in the kingdom there are certain heights and certain results you can never command under the sun until sacrifice comes from you. When you read Psalms 126 from verse 1 to 6, it says, When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Jump to verse 5, please. Verse 5 says, They that sow in tears... There is a kind of seed you don't laugh that's when you are giving isaac if it's ishmael you can laugh but when you are giving isaac you know this is isaac you sow in tears it says you shall reap in joy verse 6 he that goeth forth and weepeth bearing precious seed shall doubtless come again with rejoicing bringing in the sheaves now let me confess and admit to you that I know that the issue of seed has gone through all versions and all kinds of imbalances and abuses here and there. I know. I know that people have been victims of all kinds of manipulations with the teaching on seed. But just because a truth is exaggerated or misused does not mean it is not truth. When truth is applied within the boundary of scripture and in truth and righteousness, it works wonders. You've heard me share my story for many of you who have listened to my teachings. I remember a time when God needed to shift me. I was already in ministry and God was already helping me. I remember when God gave me an instruction that one day he was going to speak to me to carry a seed and take it to God's servant, Bishop David Oedeku. I won't tell you the seed. And that morning, God gave me that instruction. I got up, got the available flight and went down Cut the long story short when i was done with everything i had to do as i came out to enter the car so i'll go and look for somewhere to rest and return the next day the holy spirit told me to place my hand on the ground there at canaan land ground when i placed my hand he said son from today you have entered the overflow anointing not everybody will be honest to tell you the story behind their glory but please don't be mistaken behind every glory you see there is a story and there is a mystery behind that story sacrifice read the bible about kings who slew their children and an indignation rose against them and war ended sacrifice when done with understanding is powerful i have made sacrifices this ministry has made sacrifices you cannot imagine and i do it with joy and with understanding let me tell you what happens to your seed when you sacrifice 
First Corinthians chapter 15 from verse 35. We don't have time, but let me see if I can touch a bit on it. Please understand this mystery so that your sacrifice will become profitable. Many give in the body. They just give just because a man of God challenged them to give. Sincerely so. But in this kingdom, results are governed by the understanding that sponsors that action. If you just act without understanding, if you really get a result, it's just the mercy of God. But some will say, how are the dead raised up? So he's talking about resurrection. Please pay attention. And with what body do they come? Paul insulted them, I won't insult you. That which thou sowest is not quickened except it dies. Follow carefully. So there is a relationship now between resurrection and death. Are we together? Next verse, please. Let's save time. Media help us, please. Next verse. But God giveth it a body as it pleased him, and to every seed its own body. All flesh is not the same flesh but there is one kind of flesh of men there is another flesh of beasts and of fishes and of birds uh-huh there is also a celestial body and a terrestrial body but the glory of the celestial is one and the glory of the terrestrial is another uh-huh two or three more verses there is one glory of the Sun and another of the moon the glory of the stars and one different from another pay attention their glories are not the same we'll stop at 43 he said so also is the resurrection of the dead it is a dead bodies the dead you sow it in corruption but it is raised in incorruption last verse it is sown in dishonor and it is raised in glory it is sown in weakness and it is raised in power this is a mystery one time i was spending time with the lord and the word of the lord came to me and gave me a mystery behind sacrifice the bible says our seeds have the power to die and have the power to come back to life only jesus demonstrated that the ability to die and come back to life that means it is possible that I can tie any season I do not like to my seed and as I sow that seed if that seed dies everything connected to it must die are you getting the point now I can take the season of disfavor I can take the season of shame and tie it to my seed with understanding and sow that seed when that seed dies that season also dies and the Bible says there is a unique expression of the law of seed faith and sacrifice in this sense. Because when you sow, you don't only reap more of what you sow. You can change what you want to see still by sowing. You can sow favor and reap more favor. But you can sow shame and exchange it for honor. That means I can take all the unfavorable seasons in my life ministry business career and by faith you drop it and expect that season to die and all of a sudden a new season begins to open as your seed grows it's a powerful mystery you see why it's dangerous to steal money in the house of god because you don't know what season someone is trying to kill and if you do not allow that seed die you thought you just stole 10 naira. Look at Gehazi. You now see what happened to Gehazi. He thought he was just collecting money. He was collecting leprosy. Just because the leprosy left Naaman did not mean it left the earth. He was still there waiting for a volunteer. And a man's greed pushed him. I have ended seasons in my life. Ended cycles in my life ended patterns in my life by the power of sacrifice with understanding it's a practice that i will continue to do for as long as i live discernment again you've heard my story that i was in joss many years ago 
and I went to buy sugar cane and I saw two women it was not much old women and I pleaded with them that let me I just wanted to honor them they were mothers I said please let me pay for them they also wanted to buy it they were beckoning on me trying to remove their money from their wrappers I said please let me pay for you and then I paid for them and the women began to bless me quite honestly I didn't hear what they said but one of them looked at me and said my son forever walk upon gold sacrifice works when it is done with understanding many of us have not risen to a new level because we are not ready those who are unbelievers call them they will tell you they know whether you are born again or not meet great people christians or non-christians they will admit to you that there must be a sacrifice dimension in the equation of your success when you see a man rise beyond the threshold know that there was sacrifice there whether it is a demonic sacrifice or it is a godly sacrifice i assure you no man can rise beyond a threshold just like that look at the father when the father wanted many sons in glory he carried his own son jesus his own son the father did not say i stand as the holy one seated upon an ancient throne be free from sin even when jesus turned to him and said eloi eloi lamak sabachthani father this eternal relationship that has never been severed he said for the sake of the harvest that is coming i want to end the reign and the dominion of sin and not even your face will make me change my mind sacrifice you know why abraham is called the father of all nations we sing and jump abraham's blessings are mine he said if ye are abraham you will do the works of abraham abraham take now thy son thy only son whom thou lovest imagine a man dragging his son abraham where are you going i'll see you in the evening and the son says father where are we going he says, just follow me obedience is better than sacrifice and he's carrying him home the son says i see the wood i see the fire where is the lamb and he said jehovah jireh do you know what it meant for abraham to lay his son and the child will be saying father what did i do if i sinned against you won't you tell me to say sorry abraham imagine what you would go back and tell the journalists imagine what you would go back and tell the pressmen imagine his marriage was it was obviously going to end what would he tell sarah your 25 year old project all the mockery and the shame because a spirit spoke to you let me tell you what made god to swear a blessing on abraham and god was watching romans chapter 4 there's no time but when you read there it tells you the contemplations of abraham that abraham had planned that when he kills isaac he would beg god to bring him back so that he would take him back to the mother and give him in peace i've obeyed you now please save me from the trouble that is waiting for me at home sacrifice there are times that your seed will have to be the weapon that ends certain yokes in your life there are times not emotional things with understanding lord i'm tired of this level i am tired of this level of grace i'm tired of this level of oil i'm tired of this level of growth i'm tired of this level of hearing you sacrifice he says let no man trouble me for i bear in my body the mark there is a mark there are people who are recognized both by the realm of the spirit and this realm i've had the privilege and i don't mean to insult your pedigree forgive me if i sound arrogant this call upon my life has exposed me to many successful people I've had the honor and the privilege of praying with many people and every time I meet great people I don't just talk as a man of God I like to listen to their stories what happened and I'm listening sometimes they are laughing I'm not I'm not I'm not interested in all the somewhere in the story there will be a punchline 
and then I did this and then God gave me an instruction I did this it may not all be money there was a time many years ago that God gave me an instruction I prayed for 72 hours non-stop my eyes did not see the Sun I didn't know whether it was morning or night I did not check my time don't trivialize 72 hours even if this is what you are doing for 72 hours it is a lot of work 72 hours because we needed to end some seasons and step into certain seasons I was teaching the school of ministry student yesterday we we're discussing the anointing <clears throat> and I was telling them that when you have a little extension wire connected you can hold the extension wire with your hand and even if there is a spark it will not be serious but when you see a high tension cable there are people who held it and remained there till they dried up that's how men can become you can become an extension wire that has little or nothing coming from it or you can become a high tension cable in the spirit the difference sacrifice you don't just look at people and say be healed it's not everything that is a gift there are things that are rewards you will have to stay with the spirit sacrifice of prayer sacrifice of the word the discipline and the constraints i don't want to sound arrogant to begin to tell you the things that i have done for this kingdom but brothers and sisters hear me many of you are in need of interventions there are some of you following online you want to break circles you want to break patterns god is speaking to you not without a sacrifice it is true sacrifice the prophets of Baal remember at Mount Carmel the last card that they used to bring Baal down was sacrifice Elijah said I give you morning till evening do whatever you know to do to invite him they tried everything they started by prayer they danced around remember nothing happened when evening was coming they say there's something we know about the realm of the spirit if Baal will not wake up to our prayer if he will not wake up to our singing give us a knife and the Bible says they started cutting themselves have you seen traditionalists do these things they make incisions because they want to invoke powers they cut themselves like animals and Elijah said your God is sleeping when it was now time Elijah said get out of the way the time for the evening sacrifice that was the time Elijah called God he didn't just stand and say God come <clears throat> He waited till it was the time of the evening sacrifice and he said bring these bullocks for me he set on an altar put sacrifice there poured water and called upon the God who answers by fire and fire came from heaven licked everything when your life becomes an offering and a sacrifice then you walk in signs and wonders then God will give you a grace and an anointing not just for a church not just for a city but for nations i tell you the truth anybody who loves you sincerely will not lie to you not everything is just free that you pick up on the ground there in jesus name there are sacrifices that follow certain graces graces and anointings and possibilities are in levels there are graces for regions there are graces for nations there are graces for continents all of them come by sacrifice can you drink of my cup and be baptized with my baptism the last key and then we pray has God blessed us tonight so number one the prayer ministry of the believer two praise three sacrifice four the prophetic the fourth key that provokes divine intervention is the power of prophecy Isaiah 42 and verse 22 please get ready to pray Isaiah 42 and verse 22 and this is a people robbed and spoiled they are all of them snared in holes they are hid in prison houses they are for a prey and none delivereth they are for a spoil 
and none say it restore the prophetic was given as a spiritual advantage to help believers rise and ultimately advance the purposes of God the Bible says in Hosea chapter 12 you read from verse 11 down to 13 Hosea chapter 12 11 to 13 let's go to verse 12 very quickly Jacob fled into the country of Syria Israel served for a wife and for a wife he kept the sheep 13 and by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt it was the Lord that brought them but he used a prophet and by a prophet was he preserved by a prophet the prophetic ministry is powerful don't mind the imbalances here we're all students in the school of the spirit growing but if you ignore the prophetic there is a limitation to the dimension that you can rise in life when Jesus Christ was born as the logos of God there were two people who spoke to him one was a priest called Simeon another was a prophetess called Anna there is a reason why they spoke when Jesus was about to begin his ministry there was a prophet called John you call him the Baptist he was the prophet at every major season in his life there were prophetic voices that spoke to him prophecy is powerful it reveals and it creates the revelatory dimension of prophetic strengthens your faith it gives you hope it gives you direction but the most superior dimension of the prophetic is the creative dimension of the prophetic where it makes what has no business happening to happen by this time tomorrow he said are we together for time's sake i'll stop here we're going to pray the mystery of divine intervention the lord needs to arise over families the lord needs to arise over individuals there are many of you who came here bleeding and crying and saying god please speak to my situation i'm tired of this situation god has brought you a word tonight it is a spiritual arsenal that you must add and teach believers around you that as we sojourn in this our faith work we will meet with circumstances that defy science circumstances that defy intellect we will need to outsource help from a realm that is beyond the three-dimensional realm at that point you will need divine intervention please rise up on your feet two prayer points for tonight and then we're done prayer point number one father arise arise and wipe my tears arise and take away shame and reproach from my life please pray with understanding please rise up and pray please pray lord arise arise in the name of jesus christ over my spiritual life over my finances over my destiny arise in the name of jesus christ over my family lord arise over this issue of concern please pray outside pray online make sure you are praying arise oh god and let your enemies be scattered. Hallelujah. Second prayer point, we are going to obtain grace. The Bible says, now that you know these things, happy are you if you do them it is not just knowledge but it is doing at the point of action that's when the integrity of God is committed you are going to obtain grace grace for prayer grace for praise grace for sacrifice grace to honor and receive the prophetic lift your voice please and pray obtain grace from heaven 
in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Someone is praying. Someone is obtaining grace. Lord, grace to be on fire. As far as my prayer life is concerned, as far as my word study life is concerned, in the name of Jesus, grace to offer the sacrifice of praise as an incense of worship and as an instrument of deliverance and victory. Grace, the power to lay down, the power to lay down, the power to bury seasons, the power to end negative seasons in my life, in my family, in the name of Jesus. And then, Lord, I open up my spirit to the ministry of the prophetic. Let it shift me. I open up my spirit to the creative and the revelatory direction of the prophetic. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please listen to me. Don't be in a hurry to leave. I want to speak over your life. Prophecy is very powerful. I am a product of prophecy. When a prophetic word truly by God comes your way in one moment, one moment, a prophet said by this time tomorrow, when he said so, another man who the king leans on said even if God opens the window of heaven might this happen he saw it but he did not step into it the Bible says despise not prophesyings we are made by the word we are made by prophecy we didn't make ourselves there were voices that became prophetic ladders for us to climb to where we are and God has granted us such measure of grace to also lift others please listen to me every word you are going to be hearing I want you to believe I want you to receive you don't have to kneel down let your heart be opened truly don't just say amen dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video Bye. Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. Salas kade bashka na kata branda kete kotos, kete branda kata bakotos koto pray kete kete kata. The phase of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.